And this is nothing more than an extended heel, in my opinion. The dog is gonna mirror me. Some of this stuff is starting to register. The question will be, does this stuff go home and continue, or does it just stop because the workshop's over? The change will ha not happen here at the workshop, although it has for some. It will not be real big here. It will be if you take this home and use it for the next three weeks, three months, three years. It'll be gigantic. So uh, heel work is such an important part, and I build so much off, off of it and such an emphasis. And this is nothing more than an extended heel, in my opinion. The dog is gonna mirror me. She's gonna shadow me a bit. So I just healed her all the way out here and she did a really nice job. That's step one of my cycle. Good control, good heel work. She's stretched out, we're ready to go. I'm gonna release her and I'm gonna start to actually angle myself. So the idea is get the dog to mimic and help the dog. Get the dog to go out in a certain direction because I'm going in a certain direction. And then I'm gonna hit the whistle. And when I do that, it gets my dog's attention. Just before I hit that whistle, I change directions and I'm going the other way. So beep beep, and she turns and looks at me because she was going that way with me. And then she saw, oh my God, he's going the other way. So she turns and she comes with me and I go, good, good. And then she starts moving and she's just doing her own thing. And I turn and she looks and she sees me and she goes, he's going the other way. So then she starts to shadow me back and forth and back and forth. And ideally she starts to understand it's really good for me to sweep this area in front of him. He actually is sweeping it with me. My sweep can be less and less and hers continues to be the same. I slowly get to the point where I less and less of a, of a guidance for them. I start to narrow and work straight and the dog continues the pattern. And every time I beep beep, she get, can't help but change directions. Cause every time she heard that beep beep, dad went the other way. So I gotta see, I gotta do the same thing. It becomes a habit. So we're gonna work her down this field. I'm gonna work her back and then I'm gonna go around. And as I do that, you guys can slowly move and then kind of be at the crown of the field as I come back and we'll flush, hopefully flush this quail right back up towards you. Okay? Uh, Todd, Wyatt, Chris help out with any, if you got questions, ask them to these guys, because this is something I'm gonna kind of check out from you guys on. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey! So we just come off of a bunch of drills and she goes, he goes, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find something. Come on. Good. Come on, here. She smells the birds in the boat. He's got the birds in the boat. Where's she going? Good nose. Where's the wind? Coming this direction. Coming this direction. All right, let's go. Good. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Good, come on, good. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's where you had the bird pen. Good. Let's go. Good. Good, let's go. Good, come on. Yeah. Good. Good, let's go.